This is the Burstner Lizio Limited TD690G motorhome, a van which will cost in this condition 68,240 euros. There we have the price. And uh, that's the that's kickoff price. And if you want any extras, it's going to cost even more. So uh, that's that. And uh, right, so let's give us some details 299 centimeters height, 749 is the length, and 230 is the width. Uh, ready to, to drive off, it's 2,965 kilos, including the driver, uh, fuel, and a uh, bit of water, and uh, 500, at least 535 kilos of payload. That is, uh, I think, particularly good. Sorry, the basic price is uh, 57,000 euros. Sorry, I quoted uh, not the basic price earlier, but the price with all the extras that this one has got. Right, it's got a big garage there at the back, as you can see. It's a limited edition, it says. And uh, we have a look at the shape of the roof as well. And let's go inside. The reason I looked at the shape of the roof first, because I wanted to demonstrate this here. Well, there we have the electric bed above. Now, am I gonna like it or not? Well, I've just walked in now. And mm, if you are much taller than me, yeah, I want to stand here in the mirror. You can see. So there's me. Not so much space you've got in the in the in the um, in the lounge. So depends on your height. Always think of your height with vans. It, I would say, if being any taller than I, I'm 175. Then it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bit uh, not going to be a lot of room there. Another thing I'd like to point out, actually, as I put the subject of height up, is in many vans that once you put in the mechanism to turn the, the, the seats around, it because the mechanisms already uh, depends on the size, but some of them you know, could be like this much, like five five centimeters. It, it knocks, it does knock you up. Even in the, my own van, since putting this mechanism, which I am supremely happy with, but uh, I feel as though I'm at a point where it, it is a bit high, and uh, there's a uh, uh, my friend who sometimes drives the van, and he, uh, who's uh, what, about eight centimeters taller than I am, and it, it's not easy for him. Anyway, I just just point that one out. Uh, above here, we've got this great skylight, uh, letting air in, uh, light in, and there, plenty of space in the bulwark. Now, uh, a Fiat uh, engine. It's on. It's a six-speed uh, engine. In this case, you, if you buy it new, you get a choice. You get, and most people now seem to want automatics, and more and more um, manufacturers are giving people precisely what they want, that is to say, automatics. Now, I'm going to go down to the floor. You see, you've got a nice flat floor all the way back, and also, as you can see, you've got storage in the floor, which is great. So no, it's going to be made. So somebody has to move the vehicle, which is blocking the way. Um, the point of showing that there, double floor, insulation, uh, it's going to be warmer, got a bit extra storage thanks to it as well, great idea. There's your gas. And drawers all the way around the kitchen. Ah, that here is not also used as a chopping board. It's only for the cover for the sink. I certainly would have used a chopping board for a cover for the sink in any case.
that extra storage above the fridge. Okay, at the back here, I'll show you under, I'll show you under first. Whoops. I'm not used to using the uh, camera with my left hand. I have to because I've got a problem with my right. There you have a uh, storage. I really like this thing here. That this this slide out like that. It's very very useful. Great use of space. I put one in my own vehicle for the uh, for, for food, and that's a superb idea. Superb. Wardrobe with a light. Got to have a light in a wardrobe, I think. Only in this case, it's not working. I'm sure if you bought one, they'd get it to work for you before you bought it. And in the steps, you can get some shoes or something. Sorry, because of this carpal tunnel thing, I've got to think that there's no strength in my right arm. Well, you don't like that. So you can get an impression of walking up into bed. Right, um, as you can see, you can use that cushion there to fill in here where I'm standing now, and you can have an enormous bed. Some people sleep, like such as myself, sleep um, widthwise down there, and some people might want to sleep lengthwise, or depends what you want. Here we have one of the drawers, the lockers, I should say, which is open. As you can see up there, plenty of space in there. Now, um, many uh, manufacturers put in doors here. In this case, we've got a divider, but the divider is of cloth. And I think that's probably a better idea. I understand you maybe want to uh, uh, a bit more privacy from whoever's sleeping down there. So that's not such a bad idea. Also, what is good is that it's on this side. The toilets are out, out there, so you don't. If somebody comes from out there, they don't have to bother whoever's sleeping in here to use the toilet. There you can say, well, if you're going in there, you're going to bother whoever's in there. Well, maybe, maybe it's not quite the same. Um, you know, it's only a, a tiny van anyway, tiny space. Uh, so it's not a tiny van. It's a uh, it's a tiny space, so if, you, if there's three or four of you in here, or maybe even two, one using one bed and one using the other, then you know, a little bit of inconvenience is bound to occur. Shower, two plug holes, great. Profile shower tray, great. Plug holes are domestic size, great. Super, very nice. Now, another thing you can do with this, you this bit here, if you don't want to see yourself when you're in the shower, then you can put this down like that, and that will swing, that will swing out like this. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, can't quite do it with one hand, but uh, you get the impression. I think I've done this in other films as well, so you, you can see it there. Space to put your soaps and your other stuff, things you might be using. Well, I'll show you how tall it is as well, because how high it is. There, there's me. See? It's a, uh, that's the shower thing. So you've got plenty of room in there. Now, uh, obviously when you're in the shower, you try, to, at least I, I try to uh, conserve water as much as possible. And uh, so you, 
on off on off unless you're sort of somewhere where you um, you can have a good showering because you've got the the, water, the main supply next to you the campsite for example I know that many people tend to use the uh, showers in the campsites rather than the showers in their vans another point there you've got actually a plug there which may suit those wanting to use a hair dryer So I think it's quite a nice looking van. And we'll now have a walk around the outside. So you can see there, garage is relatively large. says it's new. It does look quite similar to some other models. Okay, Lizio TD690G Limited. There you have it.